Well hey guys and welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Athern Genesis 2.0 SD70M-2. This is in the Canadian National Grand Trunk Western Heritage Unit uh, paint scheme. I picked mine up from Train Life uh, for $288.98 as you can see there. Uh, Lombard Hobbies had them for $255 uh, and MSRP I believe is around $320. Well, taking a closer look at the model, we're going to start with the front. As you can see, we have our plastic uh, McHenry knuckle coupler. We have our stanchions, ditch lights, silver tipped end train line hoses, and, air, and, and uh, the airline hose there. Uh, we have the headlights, the marker lights, and we have the sand filler hatches, separately applied grabs. Some of them are bent. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. And then the walkways, the steps. So you can I don't know if you can see that. The steps are see-through. My camera doesn't want to focus. Steps are see-through. So it does look nice. Um try and get this to focus again. And then a whole bunch more nice detail on the front. As well as a dash camera. That's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can even see that. But right there, there's a dash cam. So that's pretty nice. Like I said, more simply applied grabs. Move over to the conductor side real fast here. You got the uh, the 25th uh, IPO, uh, the initial private offering there, and the CN logo. 89.52, Grand Trunk Western logo there because this is the Grand Trunk Western Heritage Unit. You have your horn up top, dustbin hatch, and your radiators in the back here. You guys can see that. The stanchions are fairly straight except for in a couple of noticeable spots. See right there at the front, right here, it is very, very bent. And it's the same way on the opposite side. So, um, not much of a fan of the bent of the bent uh, uh, handrails there. You have your your fuel tank there and your trucks. The trucks are very nicely detailed. I believe this does have walkway lights. I could be wrong, um, but we'll see. And then we're gonna go take a look at the back here. So the back has your ditch lights, uh, your headlight. Marker lights, separately applied grab, snow plow, McHenry coupler, uh, spare knuckle couplers as details, and then your train line air hoses and whatnot. Stanchions look very straight on the back. You guys can see that. Get that in frame. And we'll move to this side, starting at the rear. You can see your handbrake there, and your walkways are looking very nice. Um, there's a little bit of bowing on the walkway. I don't know if you can see it right there, but there's a little bit of bowing, which I, I noticed on some pictures that the bowing was there. We'll see if it's on this side. This side, there's no bowing. It's just on this side, so I mean, some models might not have that at all, that problem at all, but mine does. Uh, you can see the horn on this side again, and then you have all these warning labels here which are nice and finely printed and look very nice and then the front of the model on this side uh, looks pretty nice too uh, pretty much the same as the other side but this is the engineer side sunshade cab window sunshades there and then you have the quote unquote antenna array on top So. It's going to really do it for detail on this model, and we're going to take a look at some sounds next. Alright, so taking a look at some of the sounds and operations of the model, here is the startup sequence.
Alright, so fairly loud on the box, but you can press 9 to lower the volume. We're going to lower the volume for right now while I talk about it, the locomotive. Um, so, we're going to take a look at some of the sounds and the lighting features that the model has to offer. So here's the headlight, and there's the horn, but here's the headlight, ditch lights, uh, and then here's the horn. Short horn, long horn again. Beautiful sounding horn, and um, then the bell. And the bell sounds fairly good too. If you put the model into reverse, I believe that's how you trigger those marker lights. I'm not sure. I have to look in the operator's manual. All right, so function 24 is the lit number boards. And function 25 are those marker lights. We'll um, put it back in the forward here, and you can see that those marker lights do go with the direction of travel. All right, so we're looking at the rear of the model now, and I put it at full volume. This is the rear headlight, the rear ditch lights, and if we put the model. The forward, you can see those those rear marker lights. Push it back a little bit so you can see that better. Put it back in the reverse. And since we have the model in reverse, we're gonna reverse the model first. We're gonna go in increments of two. Uh, my controller's been a little messed up lately, so we're gonna do with what we have here. So here's notch, or here's speed step two. You can see the model. Is very jumpy, uh, which is not a problem at this level of speed, uh, considering that this is the first time it's been run. Uh, that just means that the locomotive needs to be broken. Four. It's pretty much smooth at this point. Yep, it smooths out at four. Six. Eight, hit it right up. And then back down. Now the model, <laughs> the speaker, I don't know what it is, but it, it rattles a lot. And I don't know if that's just because the sounds are not balanced or what. But we're going to go forward here, starting at notch, or starting at speed step two, excuse me. Still... Still jumpy. There's four. You can see it kind of smoothens out four. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. Here we have up. Alright. So that is some of the sounds and operations of the Athens Genesis 2.0. SD70M-2. Alright, well that's going to do it for this review of the Athern Genesis 2.0 SD70M-2. Once again, this was in the Canadian National Grand Trunk Western Heritage Paint Scheme. And I'm going to leave you guys with a run-by. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.